friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing chicken curry. It's an easy recipe but needs some preparation. What I do is uh, I take two heads of onions, big ones, four tomatoes. I already chopped. One kilo of chicken breast which I already cut. Six cloves of garlic. One tablespoon of ginger, fresh ginger, coconut milk, salt and pepper, black pepper, curry powder, and masala. And this is basically the ingredients for this recipe. I already cut the onions and now I'm frying them until they're a little bit golden, a little bit. And I'm going to add my garlic and my ginger on it in a few minutes. If you see how it looks. Yummy. I do very nice chicken curry. This recipe, I've done it once and now I do it once a week. So you should try it. So now that the onions are a little bit brown, I'm going to add the garlic and the ginger. One tablespoon of ginger. Six gloves of garlic, seven gloves of garlic, it depends how much you like garlic. So, we let it cook for a while. Let it cook for a while and I'll come back and show you the rest, okay? So I hope you enjoy my cooking and you're watching all my cooking uh, videos and subscribe, hit the bell button and you will see more videos and very yummy food. Thank you. Welcome back and now I'm going to teach you how to make the chicken car. So what basically you need is two large onions, four medium sized tomatoes, take a pen and a paper and write them down. Four uh, tomatoes, medium tomatoes, two big onions. You're gonna ch chop them fine and uh, you're gonna need uh, six gloves of garlic, fresh ginger, it's gonna be one tablespoon of ginger brushed, you're gonna need one coconut uh, can, coconut oil, you're gonna need curry powder, masala powder, black pepper and salt, and uh, one kilo of chicken basically this is the ingredients what uh, we're gonna do first is we're gonna fry the onions not deep fry saute until they're a little bit golden then we're gonna add the garlic and the ginger midway then we add the chicken make them kind of just to sear the chicken to be white, you know, I don't want them to look like uh, they're still raw. And then uh, I'm gonna add my uh, curry powder, my masala. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of garlic, one tablespoon of masala, a quarter of a teaspoon teaspoon of uh, black pepper, and uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. You add it on top of the chicken. You mix it well. So you, the spices are all over the place and you cook it another maybe two, three minutes until all the spices are mixed. Then you're gonna add your tomatoes. And uh, when you add your tomatoes, make, uh, add the tomatoes, uh, move it around a little bit, let everything combine and fuse together. Then we're gonna add one glass of water and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes on lo low temperature, okay? And at the end, we're gonna add our coconut oil, uh, coconut milk. So watch the video, and I'm showing you step-by-step step how to do it, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell button, and you're gonna eat the best food with me. Okay, we're back. Now, I'm gonna add the chicken after like five minutes. From putting the garlic and the ginger i'm gonna add my breast chicken which i already cut and we 
again and let it cool, cool, uh, cook until it's a little bit golden. Okay? And then we add the tomatoes. So stick around and keep watching. Now I'm cooking the chicken until it's seared. I don't want to overcook it. I'm just gonna seal the meat. Let me show you. This is how it should look. Uh, a little bit more. I have uh, some uh, chicken that are not seared. So I'm gonna sear all the chicken. By the way, on the side here, I'm cooking some rice because chicken curry without rice, not very good. So it's good, but I don't want to eat bread and I like to put it on top of a bed of rice. You can do any type of rice. I prefer basamati rice, but you can use any type of rice that you like. Okay, my chicken basically are almost done. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some black pepper. My black pepper. I'm going to put half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to put half a teaspoon of salt. Mix it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add two tablespoons of uh, curry. This is the curry powder. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of masala. Uh, if you go to any Indian shop, you should find it. And that's it. Now we give it another mix. I should have used a bigger pan, frying pan. And when all your spices are all over the chicken, then what you're gonna do is add your tomatoes, four tomatoes, good sized tomatoes. Give it a mix. Oh, the smell is unbelievable. 
let me show you. I don't know how good you can see, but it smells delicious. Remove this from here. I will move to this one here so you can see better. Yeah, here you can see better. All right. So I let it cook for a little bit, for about one, two minutes. Just to combine everything together. I keep moving it. I want to combine all the spices, the tomato, so you get texture everywhere. Shake it a little bit. Let's leave it for one minute. Take one glass of water. What we're gonna do, after one minute, I'm gonna add one glass of water, okay? Oh, smells so good. <laughs> I wish you were here. Maybe next time, if you become my friend and you subscribe, and we become really friends, then I can invite you for my cooking. So make sure you subscribe. So now I'm gonna add one glass of water. Cheers. Cheers to your health. One glass of water. Okay. No, oh, it looks so good. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 minutes on low temperature okay not very not uh, very very low little bit in between medium and low okay let it simmer slowly slowly so we can get this soft chicken and I'll show you again how it looks like when we come back Watching. Okay, let's have a look how our curry chicken is looking. Oh, looks so good. Let me give it this most here. Wow, 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 basically what I'm waiting for is to see the tomatoes kind of puree. I don't want to see tomatoes anymore. So I'm going to leave it another five to seven minutes and we will be back. Okay, my friends, are you ready? Let's have a look. Oh, ah, so hot. Oh, smells so good. I guess today all my neighbors are going to be jealous. You know what I feel like? I feel like I have 10 Indian people in my house and they're hungry and they're going to eat my curry. Yeah, 10 Indian people in the house. It smells like they're cooking. Oh, look at it, look at it. Oh my God, let me show you closer. Let me show you closer. Basically, when you simmer it, you want uh, the tomato to disappear. You barely see the tomatoes. When the tom tomato are disappearing and you barely see them, that means it's time to add our coconut milk. And that is the last ingredient that we're going to use for this dish. And that's it. And now we'll co uh, cook about five minutes and we're done. At the same time, I cook my rice, it's getting ready, so we'll give it a 
nice mix make sure you use a big pan frying pan this one is barely fitting my dish but look at it look at it oh my god it smells so good now my neighbors will be they're gonna come and knock my door and they want to eat every time I do it they smell it and they tell me oh my god are we doing chicken curry today I say how did you know I say we can smell it from one mile away we thought they were Indians anyway this is our chicken curry I let it simmer again on very low temperature for five minutes and we're done we're gonna reduce the sauce a little bit we don't want it too runny okay so keep cooking it until it's not too runny a little bit uh, to hold together the sauce to hold together a little bit okay so I will check from time to time and see now it's kind of runny so maybe I will increase my temperature to between medium and low and leave it for 10 minutes to reduce uh, the liquid okay keep checking with me and I'm gonna show you the final dish so I hope you like it okay my friends now I think we are done let me have a look all right I cannot see the tomatoes anymore eh, barely which is good now what I'm gonna do is just keep the lid off and I'm gonna let it boil a little bit until I reduce the sauce you see the sauce it's a little bit runny so I want to reduce the sauce I will keep it for maybe five to ten minutes without the lid and we should have the best curry ever Ah, the sauce is still runny so I will st stop the video for now and we continue in a while okay five to ten minutes I'll be back and we finish it up welcome back my friends I think we are done so I'm gonna switch off and I'm gonna show you how you can plate one I'm not gonna eat now a lot of food so I'm just gonna make a small plate so I can show you I'm gonna put a little bit of rice and I'm gonna add some of the curry chicken on top some sauce this should be enough and let's give it a taste what do you think yeah we taste it here you go can you smell it Mmm, so good. We're gonna have a nice lunch today. This is just a taster. Cheers to your health. I'll tell you how it tastes. It's very hot. Oh my god. Mm. I think I'm gonna have lunch now. <laughs> it's still early. It's 11 o'clock and 11 a.m. here and I said I'll wait till 1 but I don't think I would be able to resist mm. my god the chicken is so tender out of this world I think it's better than the Indian restaurants it won't cost you much oh one more bite, yeah. Come on. You want to try? Where is the camera? Ah, right, here's the camera. Mm. Very good. It was very good chicken curry. You should try it. I think you will love it. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Subscribe. And keep watching my videos. Have a good day.